Hello, Gold here. And while doing a nuke run recently, I had a couple of glitches come up during that run that I just wanted to share with everybody. One of the glitches, the only way I've been able to correct it, is to actually leave the world or close the application. And this is the first glitch we'll see. But the second one can cost you a lot of time when making a nuke run. And it happens towards the end of the run. So I'm going to run fast through everything here. And we're going to look at these two glitches. And as we start out here, this is the first one. After completing the scoreboard this time and last time, which uh, this has been going on for a couple months now, I beat the scoreboard a while back. But ever since then, whenever I do meet one of the obligations of the scoreboard, then it starts over at one, as you can see here, and starts counting, and starts counting, and starts putting this graphic up on the screen. And it makes it very difficult to aim from time to time. And I'm gonna run through this nuke silo. Uh, I'm gonna run through it pretty fast and try and speed things up. Uh, don't wanna take up too much of your time. But I do wanna demonstrate that how this glitch just does not go away. Now, a couple of times I've had it go away after it cycles through about 100 times on the uh, little score, little uh, progress meter down there. But sometimes it just continuously on and on and on. And it can get really annoying, especially when you're in the middle of something. I've had it start while I was in the middle of one of these runs before. And it gets extremely annoying because you don't want to leave the world. You don't want to close the app because I've already got a lot of time and money or ammo invested in this run. And once you repair those pipes and you come through here, this is where an explosive hand, uh, weapon comes in very handy. And I have a three-star explosive fix, uh, fixer, and that's what allows me to just shoot these once or twice, and I'm blowing up all the mainframe cores here. I got a little Saltron right there to take care of. You can see it's still counting. It's still going. It's still going. And when you're playing in real time, I'm sure a lot of you have experienced this, it does get very annoying. You sort of get used to it after about 20 minutes, but uh, it, it really gets annoying. This is a glitch that should be fixed. Now, as I go up here, there's a little trick I do on this, and it's not really a trick. It's... Uh, I've been through the nukes so many times that I've got about 30 extra mainframe cores. So I'll repair those before I come here. That way all I have to do is take out the enemies and I can simply replace them all right here. As we can see, getting them all replaced. And once you get all of the mainframe cores in place, then just turn around to the computer, open the door and head out to the control room. Now in the control room, I always approach this really slow coming through here because I like to take out these Assaultrons in as many as I can before I actually go up there and start the launch prep. And there's an Assaultron there. I'm gonna try to get him before I even really get into anything else. And he's gonna turn invisible again. Come on. And a couple more. There he is, he's down. So now I'm just going to progress through here, clear out these enemies so that I can get up here and start this launch control chief. And we can see uh, the second glitch I was talking about. And I'm curious how many other people out there have had this happen to them. And I'm sure it's a lot. But when you're making the run, you get up here and you clear everything. There's always an Assaultron up here. Unless you wait down in the lower area long enough, he'll come down there. Now going in here, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to launch the first chief. And when he comes out, we should see a, our progress meter on the right-hand side where all of our quests are listed on the right-hand side of the screen. We should see a progression bar or a status bar that'll start incrementing. And we can see that bar there right now, but it's not incrementing. There's no progress being made, but the chief is already up there. And this is what, this is what annoys me about this particular glitch is that by the time I realize it, all right, I'm already a few minutes into it. Now I see that he is, he's right there at the console. Uh, he's right there at the console. He's not making any progress. So I'm going to take these guys out and I'm going to go check on him again. And this happens to me about every fifth or sixth nuke run that I'll sit here and wait like I'm doing right now. And as you can see, there's no progress. Now I can already tell that it's glitching and that I'm going to have to let this chief die. So the best thing to do basically is once you realize that there's no progress is to find yourself a good hiding spot, turn off your light, and just hide. And you'll have to hide and wait until this chief is destroyed. 
once he's destroyed, then you'll be able to go in and actually replace him. And usually when I replace him the, the first time, it usually starts working. The progress meter starts progressing at that point. But as we can see right here, there's no progress being made. None whatsoever. And I've got this sped up to a thousand percent, so this gives you a pretty good idea of how long it actually takes for them to kill him sometimes. And now I see he's dead. Too bad I can't shoot him myself, but it just doesn't work that way. So now that he's dead, I'm going to take these guys out real quick, and I'm going to go replace him. And once I do that, then it should work. It should work this second time around. Now, I've had to do this two or three times on a couple of runs. And that actually, you know, that eats up about 20 minutes off your clock right there when you got to do this repeatedly. So next. So now, as we can see, the chief is coming out and watch. Now that the new chief is out, so we should start seeing some progression in this meter here. And so far, there we go. Now, once I start seeing it progress, then things usually work out. Now, I have had it progress to like where it's at right now and then freeze. So now that it's moved a second time, I think everything will be all right. So I'm just going to, at this point, sort of, yep, it's progressed again. So I know that things are working. So now I can just continue with the mission, defend the rest of the section chiefs, and take out any enemies that get in my way. And once you get through this section, then it basically is. And now it is complete. The launch is complete. The launch prep is complete. So now I'm ready to go launch a nuke. But I just wanted to show those two glitches. I know that everybody's seen that scoreboard glitch. I'm pretty sure they have. I haven't heard a lot of talk about it. But I know it's not happening to just me. Um, the nuke glitch here, this happens to me quite a bit. I, I launch probably five to ten nukes a week just to, you know, just for kicks. And I run into this glitch two or three times a week. So it does happen on a regular basis with me. And the fastest and easiest way or really only way that you can solve it and make that progress bar continue is to let the section chief die and then go replace him. And at that point, it should pick up and you should be able to go. Well, that's it for this video. I hope the video was informative. Leave comments below about other glitches you've seen. Thanks a lot for watching. For now, gold out.